Hey guys, thanks for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to share five hacks that you probably didn't know about. These hacks saved me a lot of time. So, hope you guys take some ideas. If you like my videos, then please subscribe. It's free and you can always change your mind. Let's get started. Hack number 1. I have seen a lot of drawing blenders to make the surface smooth in your sketch and blend it. But if you don't have it then you can make one. To make this, you need two paper, one scissors and a tape. Take one piece of paper and cut its end to keep and keep it aside. Then take the other paper and roll it as tight as possible. This is a very important step. Then attach the other paper which we cut at the start. Now after you rolled it, tape the ends tightly. Then bend the ends of the stick and when you are not able to bend it that means that the part is strong. Mark that place and cut the rest. Then use a scissors or a paper cutter to make a sharp end at the paper. And that's it. Now let's make a test try. I drew two circles that are not perfect but let's just ignore that part. Here I'm using my fingers which I have used before to blend. But now this blender I get a perfect blend. I wish I knew this hack before. Hack number 2 I used to do a lot of calligraphy writing in brush pens but we can write it in this style without a brush pen. I got my first brush, brush pen from one of my lovely friends but before that this trick helped me. Here I am writing a simple word sun. As you can see, I am making the line stick in some parts which makes it look good. So in which part we have to do this? For the lines which go up, it has to be thin and the lines coming down has to be thick. You can use this in your headings, greeting cards etc. Here are some lettering ideas for you guys. Hack number 3 If you have a blend and dry brush which is not looking good like how it used to be when you brought it. Then take some soap and shape the tip of the brush and it's done. When you want to use it, again just Rinse it with water. Hack number 4 If you have a dirty palette or you don't want to make it dirty anymore, just wrap it in a cling wrap. After you are done using it, just throw it away. This hack has helped me a lot of time when I am dealing with acrylic paints which are hard to remove after the use. You can also use this in other surfaces. Hack number 5 I get a lot of people say to me like whenever I finish a painting and remove the tape it tears the part of the paper where I have painted. So I use this hack on a thin paper or A4 sheet and I just use a normal tape 
because this is how it done. When you remove the tape, pull it away from the painting in a 90 degrees angle. I promise this hack works every time for me. I hope you guys like this video and try out these hacks. If you have any doubts, share them in our community in the comments. Then see you guys in next video. Bye.